but I did totally change as a, as a writer through all of this. If we go back maybe five years and uh, watch at the, <coughs> the, the, the very first ideas for, uh, for this record, were they also, uh, <coughs> the, the film and the comic, were they also involved right from the start? Yeah, definitely. I, when I was still um, signed to Capitol Records, when I first started making this, I went into a meeting and said, I want to make a fantasy film and a comic book. It was 2006 or seven, and they looked at me like I was crazy and they said, that's expensive. It's confusing. We don't know. Is it a record? Is it a... <clears throat> now I feel like if I walked in to someone and said that to someone, it would make sense, you know? So I think that's also why it took a long time is I had to work really hard <laughs> to find ways to justify that it can work. But no, it did because that was... That was because my first record, all I wanted to do was get the songs from the 90s out of me. I wrote all these songs in my 20s and in the 90s when I was in Hole in the Pumpkins. I wrote all these songs and they just sat at home. My first record, I just want to get the 90s out, uh, you know, and the moment I did that, I started new. So I got off tour for my first record and I knew I wanted to do two things. I wanted to expand musically and start researching the other parts of me that's not 90s and then also um, get into the more visual and conceptual art. So that was the goal from the, from the beginning of the project was having both. And, uh, and I think I've achieved both, which is that I did totally change as a, as a writer through all of this. And I also um, got to dress up as a witch and play make-believe in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you, you keep, keep mentioning uh, play, playing that witch. How, how, how special was that for you? Oh, it was beautiful. I mean, the uh, making the film was a really incredible vacation from music. It was a lot of work and we were in the woods and we were... What was your part in uh, making <coughs> uh, that movie uh, as a director or um, maybe as a producer as conceiver, well? Conceiver, producer, star, music and... Um, I mean, I got, I collaborated with the director, but it was a very interesting, because it's a silent film, it's a half hour musical psychedelic trip. So it's not quite a film, but it's not a music video. It's, you know, a strange morphed, to me it's like the Twilight Zone, or it's, it's like a strange half hour, but, but the thing is about it is it's an, exa an equal collaboration between a filmmaker who uses a language of film and a musician who's trying to tell a certain story in a song but flesh it out into a storyline in, in, in a film. Uh, so, but how was I involved? I mean, I made the food, I, I, I <laughs> paid for the cameras, I, I hung out in the mud, I poured the blood on the trees, I mean, I did everything. And that was an incredible um, way to get out of music expand as a human, uh, learn, work with other art forms and, uh, and explore the idea that maybe the same message in a song can be explored in a, in a story, in a film, and that was really just creatively satisfying to see how far you could go with one idea in a song into a full-on storyline with a car crash and with the, with the time travel, and that was just an incredible opportunity. And then within that, when I returned to the music, the music was clearer to me. So, what was the question? And maybe what 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 was uh, what was <coughs> the fir thing that you learned from uh, from making a, a movie like that uh, that you put into your music? And what what <coughs> element of your music can we uh, can we see back in? The um, movie? Well, I learned to make the film. I learned how much harder it is to make a film than. Uh, an album. An album, you're like at home alone, you write a bunch of stuff and then you go into a studio. That's it. You don't go into the woods and chop trees down and then like have accidents and then spend a year with 150 hours of footage trying. It's a very different, um, uh, and you don't work with people who love blowing up trucks. You know, <laughs> it's a different world. <clears throat> what I learned um, was a good, a better work ethic, maybe, because I now actually see how easy it is to make music. It's actually quite, uh, it's actually quite minimal. Um, but I think more than anything, I, I, 
it nurtured the idea that I really like to tell a big story. And the, the goal with the, the album as a, as a total is I wanted it to be more of an adventure. My first record, for example, was like song, 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 and maybe, and very consistent. This record, I want there to be like a different, an actual record that from beginning to end, you go to like 10 different places. And I made a lot of um, instrumental, experimental, atmospheric songs that maybe sound more like a film score than they do a, a rock song. And that was very probably influenced by my commitment of wanting to like expand as a musician to be well, not even expand. For me, it was actually when I started making songs, they weren't songs with choruses and lyrics. It was more atmosphere and experimentation. So I guess putting in experimentation with songwriting happened on this record and maybe had something to do with the film because the film was so experimental. It's very, very... I mean, it was at uh, film festivals, and it's in like experimental sections. It's very, it's surrealism, it's experimentalism. So I think maybe I, I, I felt more comfortable doing experimental stuff in music too, which is great.